Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm Moa aka Swedish Whiskey Girl and today we are back with another Campbelltown whiskey from Glen Scotia. Of course Campbelltown is a region in Scotland. It's the smallest region but of course it used to have a lot more distilleries than it does today. Today it only has three distilleries left which is of course Springbank, Glengyle and Glen Scotia. And if you watched my previous video doing the Victoriana which is another lovely whiskey. I also mentioned that I love the double cask from Glen Scotia. It was one of the first whiskies I tried that I was really amazed by and I still am today. It's such a good quality whiskey for a great price. It's a combination of European oak Pedro Jimenez sherry casks and it's also first full bourbon so you get a lot of flavour in this wonderful non-age statement dram. But today we are not talking about the double cask, not just yet. We are talking about the 2020 Campbelltown Festival release, which is a 14 year old. This is a, a peated single malt, which has been matured on refill American oak casks, medium char American oak, first fill American oak, and then finished in first fill ex tawny port hogsheads. So I'm really excited to try this one and I know there's some people out there that have been requesting me to try this so I hope we'll enjoy it together and that you've gotten the chance to try it as well. Let's start on the nose. It's lovely kind of, it's immediately purple for me, it's like plums or blackberries or maybe a bit of cherries. Yeah, yeah that kind of cherry note that I'm not really sure if it's almonds or like this Arono, or if it's yeah almonds or cherries some yeah I think it's having more of a fruitiness so probably cherries but a bit of that almondy feel now as well very fruity the smoke is coming through as more of a leather note than that immediate smoke but it definitely has this kind of Glen Scotia density that just draws you in when it's kind of Oh, I don't know how to describe it, but it's this kind of oily, velvety, rich flavour that you tend to get. Well, I tend to get on most Glen Scotia's and it just makes me want to sip it straight away. <laughs> so let's go on to doing that. Slunge of that. The first thing I get is this kind of sweetness. It's this kind of big sweetness that is a bit like icing sugar. Oh, and I totally forgot to say that this whiskey is at 52.8% EBV, so it's it's a, a punchy one, but surprisingly light and smooth on the palate. It definitely is feels more peatier on the palate, but because the spirit has such an oily texture, it's very kind of velvety. It's a bonfire smoke. It's kind of warming goes well with these kind of purple notes. It's still that kind of sweetened blackberry, it's almost like a blackberry pie perhaps. Yeah, a bit of that kind of sweet doughiness. It's like a burgundy purple for me, but it's very lovely. It's definitely that sweetness and the bonfire smoke that gets you. Doesn't have a lot of tannins, doesn't have a lot of that kind of bitterness, it's just very oily and velvety. I mean the mouth feels brilliant. It has a really fascinating nose. It's, yeah, the kind of berry notes, it's like, it's a bit, in Sweden you can do this thing when you mash all berries together, you usually do it with lingam berries and you mash them up with sugar, so you don't make a jam, but it's like you just have the berries and sugar, it's like this kind of mush of berries and sugar, and I imagine if you did that with blackberries you would get kind of that on the nose, and a bit of alcohol. <laughs> Almost, yeah, a bit like blackberry ice cream perhaps as well with that sweet note coming through. Yeah, maybe a bit of vanilla there as well. It almost makes me think of kind of, if you get berry peppermint chewing gum. Because it has this really fresh note that almost just, like you know when you've had, like brushed your teeth or 
to the uh, chewing gum that's like peppermint or mint. It just has this big kind of fresh explosion in your mouth and everything just feels very open and fresh and that's the finish on this one. I mean, plum, blackberry, bonfire, leather, mint. <laughs> It's, it's a really, really lovely whiskey. Um, of course, I wish the Campbelltown Festival could have happened in real life uh, this year, but due to the COVID-19 outbreak, as a lot of other things, it's had to be canceled this year or taken virtually. I would, of course, love to go to Campbelltown one day and see all this rich whiskey history that you can find there. But I haven't been just yet, but hopefully get to go soon. But as always, of course, I would love to hear what you think of Glen Scotia. What is your favourite expression? Is it Victoriana? Is it the double cask? Or is it perhaps one of the festival releases? Please put your thoughts in the comments below. A massive, massive thank you as well to my lovely Patreons who continue being amazing and supporting me. You guys are the absolute best. And as always, have a lovely day. Slanjava. Skål!